Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. As per usual, I'm going to be showing some coins I got in. The coins on the periphery, they, uh, it's just old coins I need to sell down. I should have taken them to my lockup, but, you know, it's not always worth my time to move odd silver coins. Now, I've had a few things come in. I haven't put a video out for a while. I'm, I'm going to be completely upfront with you guys. I'm, I'm going to be taking it slightly slower on YouTube over the next few weeks. I, I feel a bit burnt out and to be honest it's the format that I've been putting out where I haven't had the time to put out the content that I really want to put out the, the format I'm putting out where I'm showing coins consistently is is not really working for me in terms of the show and tell I think it's it's getting a bit tried and tested it's it's getting a bit dated I've probably got a hundred videos where I've done this so I need to have a rethink and I'd rather put less content out that is of higher quality than just churn out videos for the sake of it. I know there are channels that do do that. I'm not throwing shade at anyone. I don't particularly like the practice. I'd rather bring value to people. It's not who I am. So I won't be putting as many videos out. I am sorry for the loyal subs who do come and watch my videos. I am grateful for it, but I need to go back to the drawing board and see how I can take this further. So yeah, I got these in. This actually, I actually bought five of these and I bought two of the full ones. The other ones have sold. Um, the gentleman who sold them to me, nice guy, I've done a few trades with him. Um, I end up taking them off his hands. I then had this come in. I probably paid slightly higher on it, but I bought for the condition. The truth is I'm, I wanna build up a backlog of more quality coins like my reserves have been run ragged to put it in perspective i had a load of coins that i bought in i've taken these out today i don't usually have loads and loads of gold coins on me they tend to go to the lockup and the lockbox but i built up a, there must have been about 20 or 30 coins in here and they weren't just small coins either I had some of the large coins, like ounce coins in here. And I've been run ragged. So for me to buy stuff like this, I can just sit on it, replenish my reserves and wait for the right buyer. I'm I'm turning over enough that I do have excess. I've pretty much paid back my direct loan in full. At some point, I'll make a video about that because I think it's kind of important for people, not because it's my own personal finances, but it will give a few people some ideas on how they can get the most out of if they run a limited company so this is going in reserve this you've already seen i end up getting ah this was a cool cool deal so there's a, again another regular of mine uh semi-regular nice guy most people are nice who I deal with on a consistent basis I've, I don't have the tenacity to deal with people who are not nice these days. I've got to the point where their business isn't welcome and I'm perfectly okay if that makes me less money. So he ended up having 692 dimes and he wanted 180 a pop. And I said to him, I was like, look, I was like, I get, you know I'm a trader, you know I've got to make a cut. If you do want to sell, I can offer you X amount. Um, if you want to try and sell them individually, you know, are in tubes of 75s, you know, that's perfectly okay. It, it really is. But I can give you an outlet where you can get rid of it in one go. So he ended up selling me his dimes. And I was super grateful that he sold to me because I love dimes. Anyone who knows me knows I love dimes. Probably more so than your quarters or your halves or your dollars. Um, anything pre-33 in terms of gold as well I love so I ended up sorting through them most of them were Roosevelt's so these were all Roosevelt's and also these and the quality is mixed there are some what I'd call washers they tend to be your mercury dimes but the mercury dimes again there was a hundred and uh, what a hundred and eighteen I had to think about that for a second. I will buy these coins any day if they come up for the right price. Now, there's not a lot of margin in these. I, pay, I paid slightly higher than I would have liked. 
but I'm okay with that because I like having these in stock. I like to be able to say, yeah, I've got dimes in. Even if they don't make crazy amounts, they're kind of bread and butter coins. If I can squeeze 10% out of these, I'm actually very happy with that. That's 10% off the VAT. Whether or not I get that is another matter, but that's kind of where I want to be as a, as a professional dealer. So let's, I'm going to leave these. I'm, I'll put them in afterwards. I then had some other coins from this gentleman. I said to him, I was like, you know, it's it's more than I want to pay. And he's like, well, I'm actually going to be selling some gold. Would you be interested? And I said, yep, I'm always in the market for gold. Anything that can keep the machine moving forward, I will buy. That's that's where I'm at in business. So at one point I was selling £45,000 a month worth of coins. I'm not doing that these days. I've kind of slimlined the business. I don't want to be in that position for multiple reasons. Firstly, well, it's a risk it's a risk aspect. Most of the coins I have are not kept at home. You know, I've got multiple storage places. But I didn't want people to kind of look at me and say, ah, you know what, I can rob him or I can do something else, extort him, whatever. So I've been slimming down my stock. I've moved a lot of stock and ultimately my turnover has diminished. And I'm okay with that because what I've been doing is I've been putting my money into passive income. That's where I'm at. I want to get to a stage where I'm earning about three thousand, four thousand pounds uh, in passive income for this tax year. I think that's perfectly feasible, but it is going to be it's going to be tight because next year I've got another trick up my sleeve that I will go into on another video where I can kind of double up without actually putting the same amount of effort in. It's a it's a plan I devised with my accountant and they've signed off on it, so it should be fine. Now, lastly, let's show you the gold. So in terms of the gold, I said for me to pay this on the dimes, I'd pay your spot on the gold. And there's some nice gold pieces. I've done okay because the spot price has gone up as well. So I'll make, I'll make enough to do it. This is nice. Never had one of these in. Uh, this is a gold standard coin. They tend to sell for a premium. Am I going to get that premium out of it? I'm not sure. The market's still a bit, it's a bit iffy at the moment. It's okay. It's been, it's been like that for many months. It will pick up. Will I be able to hold it long enough to kind of eke that premium out? I don't know. This is gorgeous. I will buy these all day long because I know they sell. They're a, they're a very good coin. People like them. People will pay the premium on these as well because you don't see many of them in the UK market. For whatever reason, I, I don't know why that is. I end up getting, so these were bought at spot. I end up paying spot for the half. So this one has been sold. Oh, it's been traded out. And I also got a young head sovereign, which I paid £10 over. I could have offered the gentleman spot, but it, it goes against my nature. I know I can make more because it's a shield so i don't mind paying 10 pound over spot on the shield halves and i tend to pay 20 pound over spot on the full halves but i just don't see many of them around anymore uh those days i, I feel like since brexit's happened they just haven't really i haven't really had many that, that's the bottom line nice coin it's pretty worn hey if i was 150 years old i'd also look like that you know i'll probably look worse <laughs> and last but not least which is what i was gonna say before i forgot i had this one this i bought for me it will be for sale at some point i know as soon as i put this video out there's going to be many 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 people going to message me um just don't see these i know there's people on my little book of contacts that want one of these this is a 20 bolivares Bolivars? Bolivars. If my pronunciation is wrong, feel free to correct me. You know, I'm, I'm always trying to learn new things. I don't get everything right, even though I've been doing this four to five years. You know, it's there's a lot of things to learn. This, I believe, was part of the Latin Monetary Union. Yeah, it would have been 
0.9. The great thing about South American coins, apart from the fact that they are absolutely beautiful, look at that. Absolutely stunning coin. I've had these in silver, never had them in gold. This is my first one. The good thing is they put the metal content and the purity on the coin, or at least for a lot of the South American countries. Beautiful, beautiful coin. This will get sold at some point. At the moment, I'm going to enjoy it for me because I don't know when I will get another one. I'm at the point where I've kind of thinned out my collection to put into passive income. You know, I will rebuild it in the future, but it's getting broken down as we speak. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I will be putting out more videos, but it's going to be at a lesser rate, as I said earlier, in the, earlier on in the video. I just want to maintain certain levels of quality rather than churning out content for the sake of churning it out. That's, that's not what I'm about. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.